I think I can hip thrust a chicken fry. Get it, get it out. Oh, that was close. Was it close? That was close. Trevor, in 2016, the Orange Fingered Snack Cat formed an alliance with Burger Royalty to bring Cheeto chicken fries to Burger Kings everywhere. But they were not long for this earth as the Burger King put their head on a proverbial chopping block in a horrifying public execution. But Trevor, today, we bring it back. It's time for Pest Food. Trevor, you've had Cheetos? Yes. You're familiar with the Burger King? Yes. Yes, 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 indeed, indeed. So Burger King is no stranger to using novelty foods to attract the attention of adult teens like yourself. Not a teenager, Josh. You're an adult I'm teenager. Not, no, no you have the spirit of- 21 years old. Not a teenager. Oh, big Trevor, 21 year old. Yeah. In four years, I can rent a car yeah, from I... freaking Avis. <laughs> I don't know. What I'm saying is they were trying to attract the demographic of you, honestly. It was like uh, 18 to 34 year old super fans is what they called them. They introduced chicken fries in 2005, but then those got discontinued. And then when they brought them back in 2015, 2016 is when they introduced the Cheeto chicken fries. Yeah. Your gesturing is distracting me, but I still like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, do you want me to It's like a mirror. People say that you're turning into me and I see it. We both got the George Michael earring going on. But do it in post. So we're gonna use these chicken fries here as inspiration. We wanna try and get the exact shape of the chicken fry correct. And then we got some Cheetos to go for flavor matching, but I think we're gonna have to do a lot of this work from scratch trying to recreate it. But also Trevor, they discontinued their chicken fry sauce. They had a sauce? They had a sauce. No. It was called chicken fry sauce. You'll see the secret, super top secret, double secret probation. I bet it's just something mixed with mayonnaise. Yep. All right, Trevor, are you ready to stick it to that feudal overlord, the I, Burger King? I know you don't like chicken fries. I love chicken fries. I think they're amazing. So I'm really excited. I'm pumped. I'm freaking pumped. pumped. Anti-chicken fry guy here. Stop. No, you did not. No, you did not get it. <laughs> I got practice. Welcome to the cooking show, the show we cook cooking. You like chicken fries. I do, this is an enjoyable experience. You like them so much. I think chicken fries are BS. Why? This is a chicken nugget with less chicken than a chicken nugget. No, All they do is skimming costs. It's good because they're skimming costs. Line form. I mean, it's in line form. They're not even fries. This is not the shape it's of a, a fry. fry. Josh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. We're here to do it. We're here to have fun. Okay. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna start dicing up some chicken fry. Cool, what do you want me to do? Man the grinder, I'm gonna throw this in here and you're oh! gonna grind it. You got chicken with me? Actually, no, it's okay. You know what, I'm over my fear of touching raw meat. Yeah, yeah, just touch the raw meat, man. You already did something real weird going on there. Oh, I need more. Yeah, you can just wait till I've done a fair amount of this. We can just talk and BS and banter like we do in the show. Oh yeah, okay, so what do you want to talk about? Well, uh, the chicken right now is par frozen. That's a great way when you're making some sort of sausage. That's kind of what we're making, right? We're essentially making a sausage here. Wait, you actually wanted to talk about cooking. I thought you were going to talk about like movies or something. Oh, what do you want You want to talk about? Like, uh, oh, Trevor, what did you do when you were a kid? I rode my bike a lot, actually. I should get back to that. I miss doing that. I used to ride my bike to this gas station by my house and I would always go get a Slurpee. And then one time when I was on my way home, I was riding my bike and I was holding the Slurpee in my hand, but I could ride my bike with no hands, so I was like, oh, it's okay, I'm cool. And then I fell and I like pitched over the front of my bike and I dropped my Slurpee and it was really sad and I cried. What? I saw a lot of candy from Rite Aid. <laughs> if you think about what a chicken fry is, it's essentially like a sausage. It's not real chicken meat, they like grind it and they mix it with a bunch of stuff. So that's what we're doing. We're kind of making like a coarse ground chicken thigh sausage here. Trevor, why do you think these failed? Because people don't respect the, the Burger King. Do you think that the Burger King thinks it's more important to be feared or loved? I think that he thinks it's more important to be loved. No, he makes chicken Cheeto fries for power. No. In the political science world, it's Have called you? soft power. Look up the hearts and minds campaigns. Have you seen a photo of the Burger King? He looks so nice. The real Burger King died in 1973. He's been That's replaced with character actor Jolo Truglio ever since. That is not true. We ground up all the chicken. Now we gotta take that chicken, we gotta put it in there. So we're kind of like, uh, sort of trying to emulsify this sausage mixture. Then we're gonna roll this out really, really thin. We're gonna freeze it. We're gonna cut it in little french fry shapes. Look out for the meat grinder. It's on the floor, <laughs> meat grinder on the ground. Tell us all that meat in there. Wait, why don't you do You got meat hands. Yeah, yeah, here, I'll man the meat. You go you go over so there and then periodically. Don't, please don't straddle me I'm and not say, straddling I'll man you, I'm the koala meat. bearing you. How much of this is Dump. This? Okay, hold on. Dump fill its flavor. Okay. Dump. Dump, dump boil. <laughs> this is garlic powder, it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. powder, I was gonna be upset. Okay, now dump the other ones. White pepper. Yeah, this is called cooking. Any reason we're putting white pepper in there, Josh? Dump, people. Dump, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
animal. Yeah, that's what that's what fast food tastes like. Fast food tastes like a mixture of onion, garlic, white pepper. That's all of it. There we go. Now we're getting some flavor in our dang fries. Yeah. Do you realize? Think about the flavor in your mouth right now. How much pepper is going on? Actually, think about it's it. It's a lot. That's why I like them so much because you know you get a regular nugget and it's pretty plain and you gotta dip it in sauce to like get some more flavor going. But chicken fries, they just punch you right in the face. No, it's just because it's eight times more breading than chicken. Yeah, because it's good. It's nice. <laughs> They've just tricked the younger generation into eating cheaper products and liking it. A little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. All right, perfect. These are salty as hell. Think about all the salt. Yeah, no, I like it. I'm good. This is all right, good. Dump about half that flour. We're gonna start with half that flour. Oh, get some MSG in there. Okay. Because also, think about how it just tastes like you ate uh, instant ramen. Yeah. Yeah, a ton of MSG in these chicken fries. It's gonna be delicious. good. I'm excited. It's gonna be a good snack. It's gonna be a good snack. It's gonna be a nice snack. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ice chips are gonna keep the mixture nice and cold. It's also gonna help emulsify all this with the flour. And that's gonna help those proteins develop to give you that signature chicken fry snap. Oh wait, hold on. There's meat. What on you it. gotta like? What? You gotta put it up. There we go. Fun fact: I have a character that I do sometimes. He's a German baker, and his name is Stand Mixa. Get Trevor, it? Trevor, would you like to do your German yeah. baker character, Stand Mixa? Ooh, yeah. This bread is nice. That was more Austrian. I'm working on it. Yeah. I'm what sorry. is Stand Mixa's favorite thing about the Burger King? He doesn't go to the Burger King. They don't have Burger Kings in Germany. Fun fact: Does Stand Mixa have a weird amount of family in Argentina? Hey, yeah, get in there. Oh. There's Wait, can I try? That looks fun. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it. Yeah, yeah, pump it. Oh. Drive, drive through the hips. Isn't that fun? And actually, this is kind of working, right? This is how you do it. You pound the meat. You gotta pound your meat. You wanna go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ice, ice, ice! Oh, the chips are coming out. Keep doing that. This is actually really working. It's kind of smashing in there. I cut my wrist a little bit on ice. No, you didn't. The blood of the enemy must flow into the Cheetos chicken fries. That's how Burger King It'll, maintains his monopoly. It'll cook out. We're so. gonna spread this into a real even thin layer, and then we're gonna get this in the freezer, because then we need to be able to chop it into like little Lincoln logs yeah. or fries. You know, do you have a chicken fry there? I can kind of, I think okay, I can hit the rest of chicken yeah, no, fry. Get it, get it out. <laughs> oh, that was, was close. it close? That was close. <laughs> <laughs> Victory! So if you look at a chicken fry, hey, okay, I got too much raw meat in my hands. Anyway, the point of this was I was gonna show you there's really thin amount of meat, but that kind of failed, but that was very impressive. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put the chicken fries in the freezer. My back is cramping from laughing. I'm gonna take this sheet of chicken and I'm just gonna hoist oh. it. Oh my, ooh. And wow. then flap it down there. That's unsettling, but I like it. I'm oh. squaring it off. Well, let me help you. And then I'm gonna cut oh, it. Yeah, give me a reference fry. I think we got a good size. Yeah, move your finger. And then there, there's one chicken fry. Now move it again, put it. Yeah, maybe I can Thanks. find a, a, a straighter one. one. All right, so we got two. Curve. Try and cut this straight. Okay. <laughs> Take that. So I just need to cut this into strips like this, and then we're gonna cut it down the middle, and then we got it. You don't need me anymore. Right? No, I always need you. Trevor, go eat Cheetos and be happy, man. Well, I like it when you're happy. You're doing great, Josh. Woo! Thanks, man. Give it up for Josh. He's doing it. Please clap. Everybody, he said clap. It takes a lot of focus, and I struggle to I'm focus. Sorry. Josh, you're doing great. We literally used like a dollar eighty of chicken thighs, and this is gonna make like a hundred chicken fries. They're yeah. selling that for three dollars. Your generation is getting sorry. Your generation is getting bamboozled and hoodwinked out there, friend. Okay, well, I'm not the only person that has bought a chicken fry. Any millennial that buys chicken fries is a generational traitor. Millennials eat nuggets. We the star-shaped nuggets, and we remember the tail end of the crown and lightning bolt-shaped nuggets at Burger King. Yeah. Bring them back. You always, get rid of the fries. you always get really serious and then you gesture at the camera with the knife. The state is only defined by its monopoly on violence. I don't know what that means. Have you seen we got our little chicken fries? We pop these back in the freezer, we're gonna get them solidified. I think yep. this is good bones because like they look to be about the size. They're yeah. gonna get a little bit more from the breading. Yep. I think it's gonna be good. I'm excited. Let's make some Cheeto bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get pumped up, get pumped up, get pumped up, get pumped Don't, dude, don't hit me for real though. Hey Josh, you always talk about how young I am, but ask me what I remember about 1985. Trevor, it'll be hilarious to okay. Trevor, what do you remember about 1985? Well, there was Bruce Springsteen and Madonna, way before Nirvana, yeah. you know, there was U2 and Blondie and music still so on MTV. MTV. Oh, you knew, you? you knew uh, I was in 1985 too, yeah. Yeah, uh, I, uh, yeah. crazy. You it's know crazy. what I was doing in 1985? I was bowling for soup. <laughs> <laughs> the band that made that song, they're called Bowling for Soup. That was Trevor's joke. We're gonna make chicken fry sauce. This okay. came out with the chicken fries. Chicken yes. fries came out in 2005, then they were discontinued in 2012. And then there was so much social media pressure, people going, bring back the chicken fries. And so then Burger King did bring back the chicken fries yes. in, I believe, 2015, and then 2016 is when the Cheetos chicken fries yeah. came out. Anyways, the chicken fry sauce, it ain't come back. And everyone goes, why? Bring back the chicken fry sauce. It was so good. I looked up the chicken fry sauce ingredients. It's mayonnaise mixed with barbecue sauce. You dummies. Are you saying that's not 
not good though? No, it's good, but like you can just mix mayonnaise with your barbecue sauce. We're gonna add all this barbecue sauce Sorry. to this year mayonnaise. I feel like I had a bit. Did I didn't wanna, have a did bit planned. No, did you want to do it? No, nah, I don't you, think so. You put up we're with gonna my add bit. a little <laughs> splattering of this uh, little mustard, just a little bit right there, and then we're gonna whisk this up. Trevor, you went to culinary school, right? I did, in fact. Blend those Cheetos. Okay, that was the whole bit. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna create the breading for uh, the chicken fries here. Uh, like half the bag, maybe. No, how many in grams, Josh? How many grams? Oh, of Mr. Cheetos? Culinary School coming out with the grams. <laughs> give me uh, eight hundred grams. That's three pounds of Cheetos, isn't it? There's not even. Yeah, there's no, two hundred and forty <laughs> grams in this bag. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Ten bucks gets me. Zamboni those Cheetos. <laughs> we wipe it down after raw chicken, right? Okay, I taste the Lysol. That's good. <laughs> Boom, chicken fry sauce done. Look wow. at that color. So this is Cheeto powder. Cheddar sauce. powder, onion, garlic, white pepper, MSG, all the good stuff. Pop a fair amount of that in there. Is that a fair so amount? we're not using pure Cheetos. We could use pure Cheetos, but Burger King didn't. Like they seem to just kind of go with their normal chicken breading. It was literally just like normal breading stained orange. We're gonna add a little bit of Cheetos in there. I think we're actually kind of perfecting what Burger King meant to do. Crank it up. It's gonna blend that until it's all nice and sort of uh, eviscerated. Do you know what the term eviscerate means? Probably not now that you're asking me that question. Oh, like you, you got my colon in. Yeah, disemboweling. So if we say like we're gonna eviscerate the Cheetos, technically you'd just be saying we're disemboweling the Cheetos. Speaking of disemboweling. Polarize. What? What? No, I'm obsessed ahead. with the idea that Burger King is actually a feudal warlord. Why? That's what everyone has this cute view of the monarchy. Oh, look at the royal wedding. No, no, no. Absolute brutality coming from the kingdom. This is looking pretty good. I think we got a good fine dusting here. It's nice and violently orange. Yeah. Trevor's gonna make a good chicken fry. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Are you gonna, oh, okay. <laughs> Trevor, you ready to get to frying up some chicken fries? Yeah! 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 I'm, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm Josh. And I'm Trevor. And we're Wicked, Wicked Smart. <laughs> In Boston, they would call that a non sequitur. Why do we do that? Uh, we have flour. This is a little breading station. We're going to go into deep frying these. Trevor, I'm going to add more Cheeto infusion to all layers Ooh, of this. Good, good, good. So yeah, whisk that into the batter. Okay. Whisk, oh, I should have told you to whisk the flour first. Ah, oh, darn, ah, oh, darn. Oh, darn. Okay, what I can do is use the handle of oh, this little sifter. It. Ah, darn it, Charlene. Come on. You garbage, Trevor. You're never gonna make it out of Come Gloucester. On, Shout out to Gloucester, Massachusetts. We're gonna start breading up these here chicken fries. Get it in the flour. Here, uh, I'll be wet hand and dry hand. You also be dry hand and a little bit of wet hand. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right we're gonna cover this with a little bit of batter. Yeah. Kind of shake it off. Dollopy dab it. And get in there, Trevor. Now start burying it, and you gotta bury it and kind of like shape it. Yeah, you know, mash it, mash it more. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Yeah, there you go. Wet hand, dry hand, a little bit of wet hand, and also another dry hand. That's how. That's how you do deep frying. I think it's good, Josh. What? Yeah, it's good. Drop it in the fire. See what happens. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, I got a little. This one was. No, you're not mashing hard enough. You gotta, you gotta mash it harder. It's and, going. And you're, you're treating it with too much respect. You gotta just like, you gotta kind of just. Yeah, okay, like, I respect just... my chicken fry. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be responsible for the consequences of your actions. You just toss something in a deep fry. It's close to me. Okay, what do you mean? Fly. You weren't in danger there. I was in danger. Bring it up with Charlene from HR. So how are those looking in there? Pull those up. See what they're looking we're like. Make what do you reckon? Those are chicken fries. We did it. We had the chicken fries. We're done. <laughs> we're done. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's bread a couple of these more. We gotta get nine to an order. Did we do a good job, Josh? We did a really good job. I mean, these look like chicken fries, right? Give me someone, give me a chicken fry in this hand. That's impossible. Who's rubbing uh, what what are they doing? What what are they doing out there? And least I'm gonna go out there, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind. <laughs> It's like Mad Max out there. It's unbelievable. Yeah, those look good. Pull, pull those out, pull those out. Burger King surely does these faster than we do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this isn't about that. This is about being friends and yeah. having fun. Trav, I'm gonna go wash. Okay. Wash Josh. Uh, Trevor, let's see how these compare to the actual chicken fries. See if we got the sort of dimensions correct. Wait a darn minute. Wait a darn minute. Wait a gosh darn Wait a GD Wait a double hockey minute. sticks minute here. These are pretty identical. I mean, you got a little bit of a thicker batter from the Cheetos. I mean, this looks super cheeto -y. Yeah. Certainly gonna taste super cheeto -y. Yes. I think we did a dang good job of making some Cheetos chicken fries, Trevor. Yeah, yeah. And you know what that means. Yeah, buddy. Trevor, it is the moment that everyone has been waiting for. The only reason to tune into the show is for the moment that we are about to go to. Trevor. Are you ready for it? Yeah. I don't think you're ready for this jelly, Trevor. Ready. I'm ready. Cut to the packaging. Look at our feast. A yeah, feast fit for a king, <laughs> yes. Trevor. Look at our feast. We have our sauces. We have our Cheetos chicken fries. And a beverage. And a beverage. Hmm. Is that Fruitopia back from the past? I don't get it. Oh, it was a drink called Fruitopia that was discontinued. Uh, 
It was really good. Trevor, you're ready to dig yeah, in this yeah, chicken. Yeah, they look really good. They do. They look very Cheetos-y. And very chicken fry-y. And very chicken fry -y. You going sauce or no sauce? I'm going sauce. I'll go sauce. I'll go sauce with you. I'll go sauce with you. They look extra cheesy. Are you getting yeah. Cheeto fingers? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Well, it eats like a chicken fry. It eats like a chicken fry. Hold on, I don't even think I want the sauce. Honestly, the barbecue sauce mixed with the mayonnaise, that's not doing it for me, Chief. I'm mixing that one, that shouldn't come out. Leave it in the past. But the Cheeto chicken fries, these are most excellent. Even though you're a chicken fry hater. The shape of the Cheeto makes it make sense to me. Hear me out, it's gonna be tough to follow. It's like a chicken fry, but if you added Cheeto flavor to it. <laughs> We could have just <laughs> taken the Cheeto dust and added it to normal chicken fries. That's all we did here. But you know, I'm glad we went above and beyond because this is really good. I keep reaching for a second one because I'm really enjoying it. The Cheeto flavor adds something extra, right? Yeah. And you're getting all that white pepper. You're getting a lot of the flavors you're getting from a normal chicken fry. Yeah. With the extra hit of, of Chester the Cheetah coming in like a whirling dervish into your life. Yeah, yeah. The Burger King and Chester the Cheetah really did something here. If you're going through the Burger King drive-thru and these are there, are you ordering them or no? Yeah. Uh, every time I go through the Burger King drive-thru, there's a 100% chance I'm getting chicken fries. So if I saw Cheeto ones, I'd be like, yeah, hit me with the Cheeto. Might as well. Yeah. Burger King, bring back the Cheeto chicken fries. You bring can have Trevor as your spokesperson with yeah. the slogan, mine as well. <laughs> If you think Burger King should bring back the Cheetos chicken fries, tweet at Burger King under hashtag pass food and tell him yourself. I like take that king down a peg or two. We're gonna launch a little bit of insurgency against him. Wait, why? I appreciate the Burger King and all that he's done for us. Next royal wedding, I'm gonna come around and be like, okay, the monarchy is pretty cool. Thank you so much. Trevor, thank you so much for going on this epic journey with me. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And thank you so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We have new episodes for you every week. We got new episodes for our podcast. Try to swallow the chicken fry. Every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcast, hit us up on Instagram under hashtag dreams become food. Pictures of your mythical dishes. We'll see you next time. We will. This one, we hid this one in the bottom. It's all messed up looking. Nicole made this one. Get as messy as you want in your own kitchen when you have the mythical kitchen towel. Available now at mythical.com.